So, welcome to Czechoslovakia here in the Velka Padubica here in Paduce, I think. It's a four mile steeplechase. It's a 0 to 140. It's a number one largely for the nation for Joshua Sutherland, two Maristsa for Thomas Rogers, along with three Sharmad Al Phantom, four Moonsal Tavern for David Ladd, along with Safinaz Josie, number five. Six is put the kettle on for D. Hooley, Karen Emma for Hems, Compact Bonnie for James Shane, no more Hep Paul Rhodes, Blue Penny for Martin Leadham, Sang Blue for Craig Beckworth, Inga Burr for Darren Thompson, Southern Spectrum Alex Cherry, Last House Spec for Pontypool Raisin, and I missed the last, which was Opus Safari. And he's going to leading us away here as they approach the first the 30 fences they have to take here there's a plain one there's some big old fences here as they settle down it is Opus Safari along with the Moonsal Tavern and put the cattle on the leaders over the second everybody takes it well Opus Safari pushes on a little bit Moonsal Tavern just being held up now just behind that is Compact Bonnie She's James Shea, winner of this last year with Not Now Never. Looking to back it up with two in a row as they reach the water. Everybody's over it well. And just at the rear there is Safinas Josie. But we're still being led by Opus Safari as they swing right-handed here. We'll get to the next. Moonshine Tavern's still in second. Compact Bonnie and Sharma Al Phantom in third and fourth as we get to a ditch. Everybody's over it well again. Just at the rear with Safinas Josie. So it is Opus Safari from Moonsail Tavern, still taking a keen hold. Charmed Al Phantom, Compact Bonnie, and then Marista, and uh, I think Largy from the National is there, winner last week. Only a few mistakes, but uh, one he's made him quite craftily in the end. I assume the name is uh, where we can see him heading for. But it's still Opus Safari. Got about a seven or eight length advantage now as he reaches the six, skips over it well, followed by the rest. And it is Opus Safari from Moritza, Michelle Tavern, Sharmad Al Phantom, Blue Penny, largely for, the na largely for the National on the outside. Followed through by Put the Kettle on and Southern Spectrum. Inside of that is No More Heaven. And towards right up against the fences, James Shea's Compact Bonnie. And you've got Southern, oh sorry, Kerrin for Emma in the Red Silk. So they get to the seventh. Go over the dirt here. And the eighth comes quite quick. Maybe it doesn't. No, here it comes. But it is Opus Safari that's hopefully going to lead us over successfully. Moonshell Tavern and Blue Penny has moved up now. A couple of railway fences here. The leaders are all over it. We've all safely negotiated this one. So all still standing on their feet through a third of the fences. We've still got just under three miles to travel to get to a big ditch. Oh, there's a tree and a and they're all still on their feet. And it is Opus Safari that still leads us by about five to six now to Moonsail Tavern, joined by Blue Penny and Charmed Al Phantom between horses. A length and a half back to Maritza, no more heaven and compact Bonnie. And just pushing through largely for the national Sang Blues there. Out wide is the purple silks have put the kettle on. And the red silks are carrying Emma. Inside of that is Ingerbird for Darren Thompson. In this race last year, came 11th to go a little bit better as they reach the 11th. Everybody negotiates that and just towards the rear now, last suspect in Southern Spectrum. Safinas Josie moves out of the Tal and Charlie position, but it's still Opus Safari up front, led from the beginning. Hopefully takes them to the next. It's a 12th and a plain one. Everybody's over. They're all jumping it pretty well. The last suspect, uh, sorry, Southern Spectrum towards the rear just stepped over that one. Been pushed on a little bit by his jockey. This swing quite right handed here. To a bit of a thicket fence, they're all over that, and it is still Opus Safari that leads us. But he's leads down to about five now from Charmed Al Phantom in second, Moonshell Tavern's third, Marista out wide is four. Just on the inside of that is the blue silks, yellow cap of Sang Blue, I think, or the white cap, sorry, and the red silks and the yellow, and we're in the trees again as they swing with a sharp right hand turn. And it's still Opus Safari that leads us from Charmed Al Phantom, Moonshell Tavern, as they get to the gates and they're all over that one, although poor jump at the rear again by Southern Spectrum. So they need to jump a little bit better. So half the fence is done. We're going to reach the next. It's Opa Safari that skips over it. Poor, poor jump there by uh, Blue Penny as he shuffles back now, the yellow cap. And they would have called him a little caring Emma earlier as we get to another Railway fences, I don't know, fences, car park fences, 
Oh, there's a few, a few here. Jack is back here. Come out of block down. Uh, there's plenty of social distancing going on as they get to the 17th, the water again. Nobody's over it. It's still open safari. Right about five to Sharmadale Phantom. Safinas Josie's moved up from uh, the rear in the last circuit up into third. He's got Song Blue and Moon Sal Tavern for company. Just on the white outside there's Caring Emma. Just a length or so away from No More Heaven. Inga Bird. Gets the 18th. It's another water jump. All over it. Coming down to a mile and a half from home. Uh, the 11 fences to take, and it's Opus Safari that leads us them over the 19th. And we'll take it well. We'll have Southern Spectrum just trying to tail off a little bit now. This jumping was a bit poorer earlier. He hasn't done anything to improve that. We get to these two railway kind of fences. Everybody's over it. And a reasonable jump by Southern Spectrum at the rear. But it's Opus Safari that leads us from Safinas, Joes, and Charmadel Phantom. No length back to Moonsau Tavern. Compact Bunny on the inside, Karen Emma out wide, in between all those is Sang Blue. The Purple Silks have put the kettle on mid-pack. As they get to the 22nd Ingerbird on his inside, they're followed through by Largy for the National and No More Heather. Drifting back a little bit, Blue Penny make up a little bit of ground again. And a length or so back to Last Suspect and uh, Maritza together. And then about five back to Southern Spectrum. But Opus Safari leads them into the 23rd, takes it really well. Nice fast jump there. It's only got a couple of lengths advantage now from Safinaz Josie. Sharmadel Phantom's third. The line of horses, Sang Blue, put the kettle on, moved up well. Compact Bonnie, Inga Bird. Just behind those is Blue Penny. And White is carrying him up. Green Silks of No More Heaven. David Robertson's Moonshell Tavern. To go to the 24th to get poorly there, Moonshell Tavern. Kiss of Stew, but it's Sanifash Hosey that now takes it up from Opus Safari as he starts to give way as they get to the 25th, so there's five left to jump. They all get over that, there's a few stickier jumps now as these horses start to get into tyres as we come into the car park fences again and they're all skipping over that. They've done well, but it's Safinash Josie and Opus Safari's under a little bit of pressure now and starting to tail off, but it's Sanifash Josie from Charmadel Phantom, Opus Safari, Sang Blue, put the kettle on. They're all still in this. The ones that are just getting a bit caught for toe now. Blue Penny and No More Heaven. Maritza and Last House Petter got a lot to do from Winter from there and Southern Spectrum as they go to the 27th. And Safinas Josie's just pulled alongside Charmadel Phantom. But moving on the inside is Caring Emma. Coming out of nowhere. It's taking the length, two length advantage out of the rest of the field. Being followed through by Largy for the National for Josh. But it's Caring Emma that leads them over the 28. Takes it well. Largy for the National. And Safinas Josie goes again. Charmadel Phantom under a lot of pressure. Opus Safari trying again, but they've got a lot to do to catch this leader inside the final half mile. It's Caring Emma that leads us by about eight now from Largy for the National Carrying Top Weight as they go over the Penultima. They're all over it well. We've got a long run in now. It's Caring Emma from Largy from the National. Sharmadel Phantom Sanglu running on well. Safinas Josie's got nothing left. The rest are out of it, but it's Caring Emma. Can she stay on her feet? They swing right handed. We've still got two and a half furlongs to run, and it's still Caring Emma by about seven to Sharmadel Phantom and Largy largely for the National, but it's Caring Emma having a look round. Only a quarter of a mile left to go, only one to jump, and it's Caring Emma. Leads them into the final one from largely for the National Sharmadel Phantom. Ingerberg trying to run on well now. He skips over it, Caring for Emma. He's going to take this now. They've only got a furlong left to run. A few running out of the pack here, and Moonsau Tavern. Safinas Josie's still trying to run. Ingerberg might get up for second, but this is a calm, comfortable win for Caring Emma, and uh, certainly put her National hopes right in the forefront and it's Karen Emma that's going to take this from Largy National hanging on for second in the birds the Charmed Alphantion running for fourth fifth was Compact Bonnie so it is a win for Karen Emma and comfortably takes the Velka Parubika plenty of crowd there cheering the horses on wins it cosily in the end from Largy for the National who's second in the bird was third Charmed Alphantion was fourth Something Bonnie for James Shea was fifth. As we wait for the card to come up, it's a win for Craig Allen. Didn't recognise the silks there, never got the call. Coming in off nine stone twelve, but takes it comfortably from Largy for the National and Joshua Southern was second. Third was Ingebo for Darren Thompson. Fourth was Charmadale Alphantom for Thomas Rogers. And fifth was Compact Bonnie for James Shea. That's the end of the week. We'll see you next week.